Hi everyone good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. Please check Iraq latest news updates. Economic expert Adnan al Saadi described, on Monday, the decision of Prime Minister Muhammad Shia al Sudani to transfer private exchange work with non punished banks as a decisive step to prevent the deterioration of the market. Al Saadi said, in a statement to Al Maloma, that the government and the central bank's procedures regarding the transfer of exchange companies that were receiving their weekly shares of the dollar from the punished banks to other banks, a correct procedure will return to the recovery of the Iraqi dinar against the US dollar. He added, these measures, if they were actually applied and continued, will push the value of the dollar down further against the Iraqi dinar, and the actual value may reach nearly the central bank's exchange rate. It is noteworthy that the government approved a proposal by the bank to ease tax procedures to obtain dollars. Economic expert Adnan al Saadi described, on Monday, the decision of Prime Minister Muhammad Shia al Sudani to transfer private exchange work with non-punished banks as a decisive step to prevent the deterioration of the market. al Saadi said, in a statement to al Maloma, that, the government and the central bank's procedures regarding the transfer of exchange companies that were receiving their weekly shares of the dollar from the punished banks to other banks, are correct. Procedure will return to the recovery of the Iraqi dinar against the US dollar. He added, these measures, if they were actually applied and continued, will push the value of the dollar down further against the Iraqi dinar, and the actual value may reach nearly the central bank's exchange rate. It is noteworthy that the government approved a proposal by the bank to ease tax procedures to obtain dollars. A year on Monday On expectations that Saudi Arabia will extend voluntary output cuts into September and tighten global supply Rent crude futures rose 60 cents higher to $85 59 a barrel by 11.59 GMT. While U.S. West Texas Intermediate crude climbed 73 cents to $81.31 a barrel. The September Brent contract will expire on Monday. The more active October contract was 62 cents higher at $85.03 a barrel. Rent and WTI settled on Friday at their highest level since April, gaining for a fifth straight week, as tightening oil supplies globally and expectations of an end to U.S. interest rate hikes supported prices. Both are on track to close July with their biggest monthly gains since January 2022. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia is expected to extend a voluntary oil output cut of 1 million barrels per day BPD for another month to include September. There is bull twitch in the market's antenna, something which Saudi will most definitely look to aggravate with a role in their production cut, said PVM analyst John Evans and Iraqi judges and security leaders held a meeting at the headquarters of the Supreme Judicial Council to devise mechanisms for addressing currency manipulation involving the Iraqi dinar and to pursue those involved in such activities. According to a statement by the Supreme Judicial Council, the meeting was attended by the chief prosecutor, the chairman of the Judicial Supervision Authority, the top investigating judges from the second and third investigation courts in Al-Khark, and the investigation court in 
Al Rusifa, which handles integrity and economic crime cases. Additionally, the meeting included the head of the National Security Apparatus and the Deputy Minister of Interior for Intelligence Affairs. During the meeting, they discussed the best ways and mechanisms to address the phenomenon of currency manipulation, particularly concerning the value of the Iraqi dinar against the US dollar, aiming to curb such practices and prosecute those involved in accordance with existing laws, as stated in the statement. Today, Monday, the Supreme Judicial Council announced the arrest of suspects involved in suspicious financial activities. The suspects admitted to setting up business companies as the cover for smuggling currency out of Iraq. These companies were raided in various areas of Baghdad, resulting in the confiscation of approximately $15 million. The seized funds were subsequently deposited with the central bank, after the anti-money laundering office submitted reports indicating suspicions of money laundering. Through monopolizing the dollar in this manner, thanks take care.